Automations can take the drudgery out of many repetitive tasks. Let's see how. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. Today I'm sharing how to use an automation to automatically add child records when a new parent record is created. Hi, I'm Sharon, and before we dive in, I just quickly wanted to let you know that you can get more how-tos, free downloads, and access to premium courses over on quickbasejunkie.com. For this demo, I'll be using an app from the App Exchange called the Simple Project Manager, but that's not all. I'm also using my own personal free, yes, I said free, license from the QuickBase Builder program. You can get your very own QuickBase to learn and play to your heart's content using the link in the text below. Now, let's get started. In this automation example, I have two tables, projects and tasks. Projects is related to tasks where it is the parent of each task. Let's look at projects. Let's assume that for every project we add, we want to include two initial tasks. One, to identify the project team, and two, to set up a kickoff meeting. Instead of manually creating both the project and these two additional task records, we can set up an automation that'll automatically add the tasks for us each time a new project is added. Yay! To do this, let's jump into those automations. We'll choose settings and I'll scroll down here to automations. You can currently access automations on any table settings or in the settings for the app itself. Now, I previously already set up an automation on how to delete the children when a parent is deleted, or in this case, delete tasks when a parent project is deleted. You can check out that video using the link here. But let's create our new automation. In this case, we want to set the trigger that's going to initiate that automation. For this, it'll be when data changes. We'll give it a name and then choose the trigger. The default trigger is when a record is added. This is what we want. We want to trigger the tasks to be added to the task table when a record is added to the projects table. So we'll choose projects here. We can set any additional criteria. This would allow us to choose, for example, to only add tasks when a project is of a certain type or any other sort of field that we might want to define. In this case, we're gonna keep it simple, so we're just gonna leave this the way it is. I'll move on to adding our action. Our action is what the automation is going to do once that trigger is initiated. Here, we'll be adding records. Where do we want to add those records? Well, it just so happens I only have one other table in my QuickBase, so that's going to be our tasks table. You could actually choose to add records back to the projects table itself using this more advanced method, but that's not what we want to do, so we'll choose task and click finish. Now, there's a couple important things we'll need to do here. Any required fields will need to be filled. We have the choice of copying from another record, for example, the parent record that's triggering. We can type in a value or we could use a combination. So if we wanted to use the project name dash task name, we could easily do that here. In this case, I just want to type the value. This first one will be to identify the project team. I can also choose to set any of the other fields listed here during the automation. Right now, I'm just going to keep this to giving it the task name. Now, what we don't need to set is the related project field. QuickBase has already done this for us. You can see in this little message here that it's indicating just that. But we want to add a second action as well to create that second task. So we'll add another record to the tasks table. choose type in a value and give our task a name. In this case, it's to schedule the kickoff meeting. If I needed to, 
I could copy an action. I can also delete the action if that's not what I wanted. You'll also notice a longer write-in box here for comments. Here you can include more of a narrative of what you're doing. So we are adding task records for the project team identification and to schedule a kickoff meeting. I do wanna give a quick warning here. When adding records, there's often little risk unless you've triggered something like a infinite loop, in which case QuickBase will identify this and shut down the automation. It's possible you can also trigger a non-infinite loop that will bog down the system causing trouble. Uh, I, of course, am not speaking from experience. And if you note the sarcasm, I am, of course, speaking from experience. So be cautious when creating your triggers to ensure that you are not creating infinite loops or any kind of automation that will exceed the limits, which I believe are essentially touching about a thousand records with any single automation. So use caution there. And if you have questions, speak to your administrator and or your contact or the support team at QuickBase to help with your automations if you believe that you need to do more than a thousand records at a time. All right, now let's go back to our QuickBase and trigger this here automation. Head over to my projects table. I will add a new project and save. You'll notice there's no sort of alert that lets you know that an automation in fact ran. So let's check and see if it did. Our task table has 40 tasks. It previously only had 38, but let's take a look. We will filter to our project named. This is a new project and we can see our two new tasks for identify the project team and schedule the kickoff meeting. As you can see, automations are a great way to minimize effort, taking away the need to automatically create child records when a parent is created. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now using the link below, using the link below. Bye for now.